Excel has two random number generating functions. One is called RAND, R-A-N-D, widely used by mathematicians. Why would anybody else want to use this function? This is the first question we got in our mind. We have got a list here, maybe periodically, just to check the accuracy of some of the information. We want to pull five records here, eight random. Right now, the list is sorted by social security number. We might want to sort it in random order. So using an empty column to the right or adding a column, let's simply enter the function rand. This function will generate a random number between 0 and 1 and you need only type rand left parenthesis and complete the entry. Copy this down the column and if this is adjacent to data that we want to sort, just click in the column and on the data tape. You can click either AZ or ZA. The list is sorted. It is in no particular order whatsoever as we see it. We don't need that information anymore. By the way, when you use this function and if you make any other change in the worksheets, suppose for example, I go here and type in entry. As I press enter, look what happens to column H all the numbers get regenerated so for the moment this function is in place in all these cells we don't really care what the numbers are but uh, when we sort it goes by the list that we currently see the current order but along the way it regenerates the numbers all over again that's why after sorting even these are not in any particular order so the list is in a random order and we don't need this data anymore. A companion function is called rand between and this allows us to generate data using whole numbers. I am setting up some sample data here. Some sales figures for some states here. Maybe it is uh, going to be items sold. So I want some numbers here and I am not caring what uh, they are. I just want to make sure they are. For example, between a 1000 and 8000, something like that. So all these cells are highlighted at once. Equal, rand between a lower value, say 1000, and upper value, let's say 8000. And because all those cells are highlighted, I don't want to press simply enter, but control enter. And those are a bunch of random numbers. So for the moment, these are all formulas and that means like we saw before. And if I make an entry into a different cell or take out data, watch those numbers. They all have changed. They get regenerated at some point here. And if you would like to turn these into pure values, highlight them and with the right mouse button, temporarily drag them into another location and then right back on top of themselves. So in one smooth motion, I am pointing to the right edge here and letting go of the right mouse button. Copy here as values only. We have got a bunch of random numbers. And if you don't like the look of them, then before you have turned them into values, you could certainly press F9 to have them regenerate again. I will show you that example off to the right here. We want to create another list. Maybe a huge list of random dates somewhere within that time frame that we see to the right. It could be a huge list. It could be across a rectangular range like that, like we saw over here. Maybe it's just in this column and maybe it is a huge list going down a few hundred rows or so. And here too, because these are highlighted ahead of time. I will make an entry and simply press Ctrl Enter equal rain between but this time it is going to be dates and by the way this is no guarantee that they are going to be unique they probably would be with uh, only 200 but that does not guarantee anything in a list so even with a short list you possibly could have some duplicates here is a starting date and i do want this to be used in other cells below this so i will make that an absolute address by pressing the function key f4 comma here is the ending date that 
2 need to be an absolute address f4 and i will press ctrl enter we have got a bunch of random dates between january 1st 2015 and december 21st 2016 and so for the moment these are still formulas function they are active they are live and if i want to change them i can press the function key f9 if i don't like those i will press them again in other words even though we are getting a random selection here there could be something there could be some happenstance situations where we got five may entries in a row or something we don't like there so we have got lots of entries here simply referring to these random dates and again pressing f9 will cause them to change if you are finished with this and simply want to turn them into their values we again use the right mouse button dragging any edge i'm going to drag them into column i in column t sorry and then right back on top of themselves letting go of the right mouse button copy here as uh, values only so we use the range between function and the example here to come up with a random set of dates between a starting and an ending date and over here we use range between to create a series of numbers random numbers between 1000 and 8000 earlier we use the range function to create a list here that we could sort on to make our list be randomized in order no particular order as we look at the data here and these are in random order two valuable functions for manipulating data rand rand and rand between rand b e t w w e n